Greetings, my name is Keith um, and today I'll be sharing my sermon. Um, I hope it finds a place in your heart. The first scripture I have is in Matthew 5 verse 13 and it says, Believers are salt and light. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. As children of God, we should always remember that we are the salt of the earth, and as such, we should be distinguishable from the rest of the world. But what does that mean? In sim- it's simple, really. Um, your life should be a reflection of Christ's life because um, he is our role model. We should live righteous lives. But one common thing that I see upon the youth is that they all believe that they, they are still too young to live such a life. Or they say they think that being Christian is boring and it reduces their aura. But are you aware that your, your life is not really yours? It belongs to Jesus. He paid the ultimate, ultimate price for you. He paid um, the ultimate price for you so that you can live the life that you are currently living. And instead of doing his work, what do you do? You continue to sin and you continue to, to do things that are unlike Jesus. Um, the ultimate price, it is written in Romans 6 verse 23 that for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Uh, yes, in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Jesus has promised us eternal life filled with joy only at the cost of momentary suffering. In 2 Corinthians, it, it sheds light on this in a way that I find most useful. It says, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. And sin promises nothing, or this is no longer a part of the scripture. Sin promises momentary joy at the cost of eternal suffering. I'm sure you can think about that. Uh, You have the choice to be the salt of the earth and end the gift of eternal life. Or you can continue to live in sin and remain the dust that you are. Genesis 3.19 says, For dust you came and to dust you shall return. Judgment will come upon us all. It is not too late to be what God wants us to be. For it is written in Genesis 3.14 that uh, when it is written in Genesis 3.14 when God said to the serpent, So the Lord said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all cattle and more than every beast on the field. On your belly you shall go and you shall eat dust all the days of your life. In simple terms, link it to what I said. You can continue to be uh, dust that you are and be eaten by the serpent. So, will you be the salt that, re- that seasons the earth or the dust that gets to be eaten by the serpent? Thank you.